Okay, so we just unloaded the uh, back of the truck. Here's our decking boards for our front and rear deck right there. This is the extra decking we needed right here for the uh, the addition. Uh, the addition on the addition. And uh, just a few extra joists and things like that for some of the boards that we had that were uh, not fully straight and just some extras. Uh, we might need to use a couple more uh, pressure treated. Uh, I think what I might do is actually not treat a couple of them and see how they uh, fare compared to the ones that I've double treated. Okay, so I'm going to split here, or split off for a second here. This uh, Our plans have changed one more time. So where the building uh, is going to be going, and you'll see, you've seen some of the other videos, maybe right before this, um, just to the left of the trailer instead of behind it. Um, instead of taking these posts that you saw and actually putting them into the ground and then uh, putting dirt and uh, concrete and stuff around it, whatever we're going to do there, uh, and then treating them, Instead of doing that, we're actually going to just go ahead and build uh, two foot by two foot by maybe four inch piers um, that we're going to put some bricks, uh, cinder blocks and stuff on top of and build like a mobile home is being brought in and, and put on top of them. And then eventually we'll come back around and then um, uh, re-skirt, you know, build a, a brick frame and stuff, uh, cinder block frame around the base of the building um, for a future. But that'll be later. Right now, we just need to get the piers in the ground. Um, we're going to take these same beams that we just were going to put into the ground, and we'll use them for cross-member supports, um, which are going to span 30 feet times 3, so we need 90 feet of these. And then uh, we can build the joists and stuff over it. And then over here, let's walk over and go take a look at our new goodies that we just got. We uh, drove up a couple hours away and found um, some windows that were on Craigslist from a home, uh, $750,000 home, and had some very, very large windows and doors. And here they are. They're all uh, casement, which means that they, they crank out, um, they latch, uh, right there, and then we just need to get some handles for these, and you twist them and they open out, which is pretty nice. So, we got uh, windows, doors, like this window uh, combination here. This is like eight feet, I think approximately seven to eight feet here with this extra um, side light at the top. And uh, got some screens and stuff for them, got some larger. Uh, just opening windows and stuff here and a couple more down there. So each one of these uh, He was saying that the um, This this window back over here for example This one was around fifteen hundred dollars approximately when it was new. So we just have to replace the trim uh, Out on the edge which we're gonna have to do anyway probably do a little bit of repainting on that any kind of uh, rotten wood and stuff like that uh, we'll have to remove but we we're gonna have to trim out whatever we brought home anyway that was used so Drogo hush So I'm pretty excited about our find here. So basically we got all our windows for free uh, We just still have to get a uh, an opening door um, for the east facing side of the building and uh, We're getting ready to start putting in the uh, poles today cut them down to size and then start with our uh, framing of the base. So, uh, we're moving forward. Thanks again for watching. And we haven't done some videos in just a little bit because we're just waiting on some extra cash to come in before we could do some of the next projects. This was actually free, but you still had to drive there and get it. So we probably spent 50 bucks between gas and you know some snacks to go out and get uh, these windows. So pretty.